Hello, everybody. This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Conan Exiles. Looking forward to having fun with you guys today like we do every day. Hoping that you find something that you like. If you find something that you like, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Always got something new coming out for you. Love to be here when it happens. And we're back on the modded Conan server provided by Logic Servers and hanging out on the porch looking at the sunrise in the morning. The fog is lovely. I actually like how it all looks. It's just visually amazing. I'm glad that we're here. And I've uh, been busy. I uh, went back up to the volcano, got the thralls from there, actually went around, and all the names came back, all four of them. So I've got those going again. I did already place the... Um, right here, we got Sekith the Smith with a lowercase s. Then I've already put our new Saeed Secret Keeper alchemist in and then we have gobbler over here Enos the gobbler he must like the crunchy time a lot or something and i did check online uh to put a thrall in here we need a a carpenter thrall which is not too bad and over here we uh i actually the cord site is used to make the white marble and the obsidian is used to make the uh black marble and I did have some quartz I left and I found out, I found some more uh, limestone we had sitting in a box. I didn't realize I didn't grab it all. Uh, our, I've already taken out a stack of a thousand bark from this and I use this to store some of the extra obsidian we had and the quartzite just because I, you know, it's right there next to it. It made sense to me. I'm going to grab one of these tier two uh, smelters and we're going to put them on the kiln and we're going to go get this thing, this party started right. Get this party started quickly, right? Press play, go. So we get it uses more it twice as much obsidian than it does the quartzite, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab three more stacks of obsidian and put it in there with it. There we go. So that will give us twelve hundred total marble. Now looking at this bad boy, it says it takes five marble for each uh shaped piece that we need so what i'm going to do is grab our carpenter here our tier three one and see what the deal is with that if we put that in here if that will lower that cost it dropped it down to three that's acceptable especially if we get 600 that means 200 shaped pieces of each that's going to take it a minute to do that now um looking at a place to build which we're around a lovely little 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 lake ish area i guess i could say with with aqueduct runs down into it it's nice but i think what i have in mind is going to require a little bit more space so i was looking around uh and i thought that this area over here would be perfect because it is it's, it's wide open it's not perfectly flat which is great it's kind of like a valley here but it's 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 got a good amount of space so i and i like how the land kind of works now, something else that we've uh, we've got several mods in the server, not just that one. We have the jungle one as well, which I'm pretty interested in. By the way, I did test the Litman stuff with the uh, crafting stations, and Litman's does not work with the um, the what that allows larger inventory. This is this is this is it. This is static. This doesn't change at all. So um, there is no overloading those. We do need to get better forges up and and whatnot, which is something I probably should have been done. Um, but there's also, um, in the city life one, we have these paths, the stone paths, and these are crafted at a quarry, quarry. So let's see, do I make that here? No, no, I don't. Uh, where do I make the quarry at then? Let's see, uh, crafted at mod master. Okay. And where is that? Uh, it doesn't say. Here's the mod master here. Okay, city life master handcrafted. So, master, there it is. So we need ten wood for it. Let's do that real quick. If it's a combat dummy, that's kind of cool. Let's see the scrap. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that was rude. Mm. Mm. I apologize for that. That was rude master my master right here craft one of those bad boys let's clean this off oops and it already crafted it super fast and it is a little, little, little dummy right there 
Let's put him right here. Yep. What? 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 Wait, what? Can we? What, what happened? Um. Okay. Uh. Can I grab one of these and it change it? Okay. Okay, good. I was worried there for a minute. I was like, oh, great. I'm going to have to relog, aren't I? Okay, so let's see what the mod master has in it. Okay, so this has the quarry in it, and it only takes 20 stone for that. Do I have any stone on me? I don't. Did I cook all the stone? I think I did most of it. I think I kept a stack of 1,000 just in case. Stone right there. Bam, 1,000 stone. Okay, let's grab this, throw this in here. So that will let me do the quarry. And we have different tavern things we can make. What is this? A th add a thrall to this. There's a uh, civic bedroll. Okay, interesting. Okay, here's a quarry. Whoa! Okay, I was about to say that would have been humongous. Okay, wow, that thing is weird. Let's open this. Okay, so this one has stone paths. Stone paths and stone paths. Okay, the, and it's just 10 stone a piece. Let's grab the stone out of you again. I'm interested in seeing what these look like. This will detect, dictate certain things, and we can make stones with this too, okay? 3,500, 2,000 stone. What is that? Gruel and iron picks. 500 stone. Okay, that's interesting. Dried fish. So here's the stone path. Let's craft up two of them. Let's craft up mirror two of these. Let's craft up short one too. Two of those. Interested in seeing how this works while we're cooking up some Lemurian loveliness, which that looks really cool. Oh, there we go. We got in the, there's the dark marble. Very nice. All right. So we have two more crafting things to craft. Let's get, uh, this off my bar, this off my bar, grab you, grab you. And oh, they gave us four of those short ones. Okay. I'm interested in seeing what these look like. Oh, neat. And it will rotate with the curvature of the ground. I wish it would get rid of the grass. And then there's a mirrored one. So if I want to keep it turning, but switch up with how it looks. Like do something like this. Okay, and there's a short one. Ooh, nice little, okay. Huh. That's interesting. Now, can I pick these up? I can. So, I can make a path from my place, like, legitimately. Again, granted that the grass is going through it. That is really neat. Well done, well done. That is super cool. And that could lead down into here so we could make paths that go on there. Now let's find out if these sit on top of foundations too. That'd be interesting just to see any type of combinations. I guess I could count. I'm so used to coming in this door now. I, I always forget about the other door. It does. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's interesting. Now, I mean, it doesn't mean I want to put on a sandstone, but like if we had like uh, the black marble and that on it or something like that, that'd be kind of interesting. I don't know. Just, just, just a thought. Just a thought. So that was that was pretty cool. We so we can make paths with that bad boy. Baby Kappa. What? Uh artisan woodcutter. What a, okay, that 
I had a thrall to this. So this is all the thrall stuff there. Okay. Citizen exile. Okay, cool. Uh, military guard, instruction recruit, chair, and dancer. Interesting. Okay. Now, since we're getting the building, let's look at some other building options we have available to us. We won't worry about the decor just yet. Um, that is all decor. That is all decor, 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 decor. A bucket. Which is very nice to have that much stuff available to us to, to just to really add some feels to it. The torturer. Where's that gallows? It is made at an artisan's work table. Okay. I thought I had one made. I do not. Let's check it out. Artisan's work table. Craft that. So you went to my bar. Okay. Uh, we are actually quickly running out of room here. That's pretty cool. Let's put you on the end like this. Okay. We have a... Oh, wow. There is a lot. Oh, I'm glad that they organized it like this. Okay. Do we have the wood for it? We do. Let's make this bad boy how big the gallows is okay it'll take a minute to make it man this is really cool i'm excited to see what we can get done here and with the 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 ground like this and it's rotating some so we could almost make a circular area around areas i can't wait to just try this out though i really wish i had like a dirt block too and then put those on top of it and that would look amazing there we go there's the gallows oh okay Wow, that looks so neat. Let's see. Once I place, I mean, I don't care if I got to break it to get it down. <sighs> this man will interact. Okay, I, I was just going to say. And we can pick it up. Wow. Uh, I am really excited about seeing what we can just build together. I mean, not that I want to build like a gallows and stuff, but if we're, with what I'm planning on trying to do, uh, adding as much as we can and see just the mods that we got now, this means those are the only mods we can put on the server is the ones I thought would be a great way to start. But once they learn what does what and how good everything is, that's going to be pretty amazing. Um, and it's cool to see like just all the different things we can make and the clock is just twine. That's all that costs us some stone you know just simple basic stuff some fences oh i'm interested in seeing these fences uh do you have the twine still right you do let's go to you and i, I could put uh, uh i could put a carpenter on here and make this cheaper which i probably should have done in the first place but i did because i suck let's grab you put you here now let's see what uh, was uh what a uh, crafting table what recipe crafting table okay interesting uh there's just so much stuff that i'm already getting like inundated with all the different things we can make fences there we go so fence one and we have fence two fence one and fence two. Oh, and these go where you ever oh oh my god so I'm sorry. I'm excited. I'm excited here. Um, so with this. I know this path is a little bit sticking up out the ground. That's fine right now. Uh, but we could do a. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. All right, so let's let the Lemurian marble pieces get crafted up, and then we'll, we'll come back and get some stuff made and just check out some of these blocks and start getting some ideas. You guys, you know the deal? Be right back. Welcome back. And I decided to go out and get some more plant fibers, which we, I've gotten a good chunk of them. But I found out that when I hit rocks with sickles, I still get the other items, which uh, I was get, getting a decent amount of limestone this way and not having to worry about loading up. Of course, when I show you guys, it's not doing it now. Of course, of course. Or maybe I wasn't supposed to get limestone then. But uh, when I hit it with a sickle, 
I would just get limestone and no actual stone, which is kind of cool. Uh, it makes for a little bit easier on the gathering. So, you know, getting crazy on the twine, we need the plant fibers for the twine, you know, for fences and stuff. And I um, thought that was pretty neat. Let's get over to the here. Some sorry, there's a lot of a lot of fiber up in this place. Let's see, this one will do it for me. There you go, limestone. See, I've got 1,700 already just coming out here, hitting all the rocks along with hitting these bad boys too. Yeah, that's that's actually nice. Uh, when you're just going for limestone. Now, granted, I still need to get some. Um, I need stone too, obviously, for other things. But uh, just like if it's like, okay, I just need a crap load of limestone. I don't care about anything else. I'm gonna go out here, and this is the way to do it right here. But because again, like I would have done been filled up with uh, with uh, stone, and I done been filled up. That's a good way to say it. Done. By, I've been done been filled up with that stone right there. But uh, this is really nice. Whenever I get it, actually, at least I'm not just farming for the limestone, but still, even then, like with the walking around just to hit all the plants, I'm not burning up any stamina. Water usage has been minimal. Let's run up here. There's some more limestone, and it's like with the settings, it's 40 at a pop. I'm getting limestone from the from the metal too. And ironstone on the off hits, okay. Well, not on the actual ironstone itself. Now, okay, so it might just be off the stone only. Let's try the rest of these guys. Yeah, looks like it's just then on the regular stone, which is kind of cool. Again, I'm, it makes me kind of happy about that for gathering purposes. Of course, I don't even know that's false, man, Drake. Uh, the mountain berries will switch. We'll make it into some drinky drink. Yeah, look at that. 2,600 limestone already. Saves that buttload of time, I'll tell you that. Because, you know, if you're like me, if you get the stone, you're not going to drop it. Hey, little puppy dog. I'll drop the mic on your face! <laughs> kind of on a sickle binge now, but that is really cool. Figured I'd share that with you guys. I thought that was interesting. Um, so I'm wondering, like on an age of calamitous, like how you get random things from other uh, places, if that would also be a thing too, like the random mats that requires for that mod. Because if that's the case, that, that again, that makes it a lot, heck of a lot easier to farm it. Go for the, uh, I guess it doesn't matter which one I go for. There we go. Peace out. <coughs> Excuse me again. Got some fangs from that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Get a bunch more twine made. I guess I should be getting stone for other things. But uh, I guess I'll finish it off with stone. With that. And we'll do that. And we'll be right back. Hopefully the, the stuff will be done for us. You guys hold on. It seems you have returned. So... Let's get to work. I have already moved the uh, the the marble from here. I put the limestone we gathered earlier into there. I also just went ahead and crafted up a crap ton of the paths, and uh, I put a whole the twine into here, and it's still making all the twine. Which I'm gonna go and grab this twine and put it inside of here. There we go. And so I can make some more fences because I want to make a bunch of fences. I really like the idea of the pathways. Wow, we need to gather a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more wood, I guess. Yeah, we'll be out of wood. So I, I'm, I'll go do that some other time. Um, but I did move in the uh, marble and made shaped marble out of the stacks, which we got 200 of each. Now looking at some, well, looking at some of the Lemurian stuff here, it all uses gold. <laughs> That means we definitely need to go hit up obsidian, which isn't too bad because we it has double use for us. I did have some from the last run, which gave us 106 of them. So um, let's look at the white marble right here. Uh, I want to see what this looks like. I want to make one of those. And what is this one? It's a mega platform. That's 20. So this is okay. Let's see what the mega platform looks like, too. All right. At the same time, let's make some of the Aqualonian stuff. 
here and we need some steel reinforcements and hardened brick. Didn't I make some more here? Yes, I did. It's just regular brick. I think I made some. Where to put it? Uh, put it in here. Yes. Yes, I did it right there. Okay. And we have the steel reinforcements here. So let's go into the Aqualonia now. And let's make us a... Wait, is that, is that steel reinforcements? Did I not grab them? I did not. Because I picked it up and dragged it instead of moving it. Aqua. Aquil. Sorry. I'm fired. Let's make three of those. And I'm going to go ahead and put these all on my bar. And see what the deal is. Because this is, this is exciting right now. Okay, so here's one of the regular ones. Okay, so it, the, the, there's a little bit, there's a glow going on right now. This is the mega one. Okay, so that one is even bigger and it has corners on it. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Very nice. Okay, and it doesn't line up with the other one that well. Let's look at the, let's look at this one now with it. <coughs> Excuse me again. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That, okay. Other than the not lining up exactly with each other, which kind of sucks. I think it could work it together. <coughs> Excuse me again. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't like that gap. I like how this one doesn't have a gap. Holy crap. That's bright. How about when I pull out a torch? Not really much of a difference. Got dirty feet all over it, too. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. Uh, let's check out some of the walls real quick, then. Actually, I don't have to go inside. I'm so used to having to go inside for stuff. Let's make, uh, let's make the wall. Actually, let's do this. Let's look at the, the, the black marble one, too. Black eyes. Maybe just have a marble and do it this way. Nope, it's not in there. Okay, Lemurian then. Sorry. And let's find the ornate mega platform. And then let's also do the uh, where is this regular platform? There. There's a foundation. Okay. I also want to check out the ceilings too, real quick. Okay, so we have this one. Actually, that one got replaced. So let's check out this next to you. Oh, that looks amazing. They don't line up with each other. They actually size differently. If you can see that, there's a space there. Not too fond of that at all. Hmm. That might create problems as a snap to it. Yeah, it snaps to it differently. That would create issues. Okay, let's see what the the other one looks like here, right in that spot. That is just gorgeous. Okay, so seeing the lines on it a little bit better, it's still spacey between the things. Let's see what the Aqualonian piece with it will do. Oh, that is an amazing contrast. Let's do this here. That is a little more uneven than the foundations. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm assuming that this one will also do the same. Yeah, it looks really uneven. Let's put it like that and see what it does. I wish the smoothness in the floors for the next ones up. Oh, hmm. Okay. Well then. Huh. The snapping is going to be an issue to me. That's going to be a pretty big one. Um, this is a beautiful set. Don't get me wrong. Oh, that's going to bother me. 
I should have done another couple. Uh, let me get some sandstone stuff and check some, some measurements here. I should have some still here. The I still have some sandstone ceilings made. I do have three. I want to see how this works around a corner on one of these pieces. And then rotate you like that. Let me hit up a tree real quick and a couple of rocks. All right, we're going to mess around with how these snap together with the vanilla pieces. Okay, so it lines up perfectly, except for, the, no, that's fine. That lines up too. Okay, so let's try this out here. Let's do one here and see if there's a problem with the snapping. It doesn't look like there's a problem. Okay, so this one works well. Let's check out this guy now. Okay, the depth is the same. So it actually snaps up in the white one a little bit more. Now, will there be an issue here? Sorry, I'm just really trying to make sure that what we got here is... Yeah, it will snap then. It just doesn't look right up on that. Okay. Let's check out you two. It should be the fine fine here. Okay. Hmm. Well then. Looking at the pieces and how they work together, I really like how the this Aquilonian goes with the, the black marble. White marble is nice, but with the see how the lines don't look so it looks yeah this one is amazing and at least we know that this will all line up right around it so how it snaps it just the model itself looks a little bit different i really wish those were sized the same and i like how the white one lines up better because there's a tad bit of an overlap just to kind of pull it in I guess this one is the black one is done correctly if you think about it okay well those are those pieces that's interesting uh let's look at the wall jungle oh this ooh, is uh where, where that uses consolidant and bricks oh neat okay for the light ones neat all right ornate wall isn't there a large one might as well make the big one um uh, there it is ornate mega wall this is expensive stuff, guys. Oh my god. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. I am stuck inside the wall. Okay. I hate to do it, but, uh, I don't think there's any way to get out. Can I crash out? <laughs> All right. So what we get one back when we break it 10 gold dust. That's nice, I guess. Um, let's look at some more Lemurian. Here is a, an ornate gold door. Here is the ornate gateway. 
There is an arch too. Here we go. Here's a mega archway. Wait, there's okay. This takes gold dust. Interesting. Or neat mega pillar. We are burning up some mats here. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Now the gold is very, very, very pronounced. I don't know if you, that would work well with the black ice or not. Um, I guess we should try to make a black ice piece or two and see how that works out. You need to grab the black ice. Uh, let's put in the top one. Yeah, there it is. So, black ice. Walls, and that takes, uh, miss the insulated wood. I have not made the insulated wood yet. Let's grab you back. And go over here. Let's throw you in here. And now you're good to go with that. So we need to bring in the dry wood, the resin, and the oil. They added the oil. I remember that. Dry wood. There's some resin. And we got plenty of oil. Dry wood. Resin. And oil. Alright. Let's go ahead and make some insulated wood. Interested. Interested here. Let's make like about like 16 of them. And there we go. Let's do one, two, three. There we go. Okay, let's go out here. The outer face coming in. Hmm. Definitely different shade. This is going to pose some interesting thoughts. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um... Yeah, these will not be able to be done together, though. With the marbling going on with the marble and this, it's two separate things. The cost of this set to make it is just so expensive, too. Hmm. Well, well. Well, I will say this. We have explored the the uh, Lemurian basic sets uh, on the on the floors and stuff like that. I got to get more gold together to be able to make more pieces. Uh, we this, the the pathways are really amazing, and with the fences around them too, I think it's going to be just gorgeous. And going down and then having a little pathway. Got to fix that one some, but it, 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 that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And then out here, I think this is going to look really good. For something to be built in. In between the aqueduct and the volcano and the ruins over there. This is, this is, this will be some serious business. But anyway, guys, that is the time we have for today. Hopefully you guys are liking what you see. If you're liking what you see, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me a lot. I really do appreciate it. And as always, guys, thank you so very much. And you have yourselves a good night. Thank you.